I mean, come on. Wouldn't you love to wear an outfit like this? Again? Why am I having so many, um... Yeah, so... I'm having a lot of different alien abductions. Who got abducted this time? It was Letitia. Okay, well, at least Letitia cannot get pregnant. Hi, this is Charity, and welcome back to Tiny Town, a challenge in The Sims 4 by Deligracy. And a link to her channel and the rules will be in the description below, as well as a playlist for all the videos in the series. So we have started with Ziggy. This is the second episode for him. So if you haven't seen the first one, make sure you go back and watch that one first or watch the whole series. I mean, there's not that many in this series, actually, because we have seven households. We play each for three weeks, and that's three episodes apiece. So Ziggy... And I think we have two more after Ziggy. And then we should be done with Tiny Town. Now, I did build a small room for him. So this looks kind of strange only because it's very, very small. And this is all I could afford. So we have a basic living area. I'm going to put the kitchen back here in this corner where the tile is. And this is going to be his bedroom wallpaper. And then the living room wallpaper is the triangles. We do have a small bathroom. So I believe he can use this. You can do a two tile bathroom and you can even get a shower in here if you use one of the showers that fit on the wall. But we're just going to have a bathroom, which is a toilet and a sink for right now. And I'm just testing that he can use it. Most people put three tiles by one tile, which you can do also. But I like to try and get the bathroom as small as possible when it's just a toilet so basically the half bath and as you can see he can use both of them you just have to push the toilet a little bit into the wall and it won't show up if you have the walls up on the other side Ziggy no you're not going to sleep in the treehouse anyway I need to get a bed for him but I didn't really have enough simoleons especially since I'm trying to stick to his decor style. So the only thing that we did find in the dumpster is the sink, the toilet I had to buy, and the lights in the mirror I bought. Oh, we have a mocha mini sheep now. I wonder where that sheep is. Okay, now we have coffee. Probably get brown wool from the mocha mini sheep which unfortunately means we have three sources of brown wool now, Choco, Dolly, and Coffee. Okay, so Rocker Knit's listing has expired and so has Chestnut's. So I kind of forgot what I was supposed to sell these for. Okay, I think Chestnut's was down to 700. Oh, someone wants to buy my robber's gear in maroon. Okay, so 305, and I think I was selling it for triple, which was 915, and then it didn't sell. So we'll sell it for 824. Yeah, I have seven brown wool and three white wool. I also have something very sad to report. It seems that Frank's stem has died again, and I don't know why, but Neighborhood Stories just has it out for him. He caught fire from a bowl of cereal. I don't get that. How can cereal catch on fire? And Frank Stim is a naturalist because he's actually completed the botanist aspiration. And so he's fireproof. Why did he die in a fire from a cereal bowl when he's fireproof? Something seems fishy there. Oh, Agnes Crumplebottom is going to purchase rocker knits. Well, that's kind of interesting. Oh, the baby onesie was 300 simoleons. But I can't ship it because I have to go and replace the mailbox again. Okay, that was a good deal of cash. 
and we reach level two of the entrepreneurial skill. Okay, we do have some little children's toys that we can sell. They actually made these items have prices now, even though they're only about 37 simoleons. I did get one that I knitted with Carla that it seemed like it was something like a hundred simoleons or a few hundred simoleons. So I'm not sure why these are so cheap. Maybe because Ziggy isn't very good. The blue little grim is legendary. And the brown Claire the Bear is excellent. And the other two are normal. Oh, there's Frank. Yeah, Frank died in a fire somehow. I'm not sure if we can resurrect him because we unfortunately don't have any ambrosia like Beatrice did. <laughs> and he's scaring people. I put his tombstone over here with the horses over in the corner of his house. And so we'll still have Frank visit, but I think he's just going to be a ghost for now. Okay, rocker trend is high right, right now, but hipster trend is low. And look, some of the people are wearing my outfit. So we're going to have a bunch of people in random knitted clothing. Oh, there you go. So we have another outfit. This one, actually, I can knit this exact sweater because it's from Nifty Knitting. So that's awesome. And then we're not going to count the pants as knitted, but they are a rocker pant. And we're going to count the stockings. So I'm going to use those and say they're socks. So we have brown socks, a knitted brown sweater, the knitted gloves, which will just be knitted brown socks again, and then the hat. So that's four items that can be knitted so we can multiply our price times five and our total cost is 400 simoleons so we'll be able to sell this for 2000 simoleons uh provided that it sells the first time we already have a rocker knits so what should i name this we'll just go with cinnamon sunshine because i really have no idea what to name this Okay, and I can kind of see these being knitted at least partially for the skirt, maybe. So we're going to try this one. Okay, and this one's a little weird, but it does have a full body outfit. And this will be our other look. And we're just going to go with Groove Wave. I took one of the default names because it's hard to name all of these. For some reason, Ziggy has a fear of ghosts. I think it was from when he had a ghost that he needed to exercise from the property. We're going to fight Frank. I know this is probably going to tank our relationship, but he happened to be there and I need to fight a ghost to get over my fear. So we're doing it. Oh, Ziggy is going to be evil because he decided to start a fight. I don't think Ziggy's evil. No, I'm going to say no to that. And yeah, we are max bad because Frank doesn't like us anymore. Sorry, Frank. Can we apologize? We didn't even get over our fear. Oh, come on. Oh, he has to win. He has to win. Oh, well, that stinks. Okay, he's not mean. But he did win that time. Sorry, Frank. We'll try apologizing. No, that didn't work. Okay, fine. I'm sorry, Frank. We'll have to be enemies for right now. Why are you guys sitting in my chair? Well, I guess I could knit over here. Okay, we need a tan men's sweater. Okay, so this is why Michael keeps asking me if he should go out on dates. And he keeps showing up on Cupid's Corner. It's because... Frank is actually dead again. So we're going to let Michael date. So we have to let Frank go. It's sad, but we have to let him go. Okay, let's see if we can promote chestnuts because it's just not selling. And we got 34 followers for that. That's pretty good. The hype is still tepid, but hey, maybe we can promote it a few times. Okay, the hype is not really increasing but at least we're gaining some followers so hopefully that helps us with selling 
We have 136 followers. That's not that bad. I don't mind messing this one up because I think this one's not going to sell very well anyway. It seems to go up once and then go down once. So yeah, we're just going to try and sell it. At least we have a little bit more following now. And we're going to try 600. Okay, now we just need to knit two pairs of brown socks for that outfit, uh, Cinnamon Sunshine. And we'll try and sell that one. None of these are turning out to be excellent, though, which is kind of a problem. I was hoping to get enough excellence to advance this. I think I'm going to get the free services, uh, but maybe I can get something that will help me sell things, marketable maybe? Oh, I'm close to both of them. I think I'll get marketable first. Hopefully this affects knittables and cross-stitching items. And then the next one I get will be free services because I want to hire a ranch hand and a gardener. Maybe we can hire a maid too. Okay, we're trying to sell Cinnamon Sunshine for 2,000 simoleons. Why is Cinnamon Sunshine's hype tepid when the trend is rocker? And so is Groove Wave. Come on. I think it's because it's not just the main item that you pick. It's probably other items inside of the outfit. I try to put as much rocker stuff in there as possible, but for some reason, the hype is not that great. I mean, come on. Wouldn't you love to wear an outfit like this? Let's see if we can promote the look with Letitia. I think you can also do it that way. Yeah, what do you think of my outfit, Letitia? It's pretty nice, isn't it? Um, she didn't say anything. I can't promote it to the child, which kind of makes sense. Did she not like it? Yeah, from failed outfit hyping, okay. Well, I got some more followers, though. How many times does it have to increase to not be tepid? Okay, I do have 247 followers, so that's good at least. Now we need to make four items for Groove Wave. And trying to remember, most of that was like black and white, I think. I try to make the same colors if I have it. Oh, so there's some red too. So we got a red beanie. Um, I need red socks. Maybe black or gray sweater vest. I mean, sweater dress, not sweater vest. Oh no, he glitched. Please tell me he finished that. He did not finish that. Well, I'm going to count that. That's so annoying. He was almost done, too. He stood up and glitched. And unfortunately, there's a bug where you cannot finish the knitting project if you get interrupted and I've tried I've tried sitting down I've tried clicking on the basket thing I've tried clicking on the chair nothing works okay look I'm sitting down in the rocking chair and then I click on the knitting basket in my inventory and I go to resume knitting project and nothing appears in my queue Whenever nothing appears in you, your queue, you know it's not going to work. Okay, next we need to do two pairs of socks. I'm not sure what kind of socks we'll do. I think we have to do black, but there's no black. It's only gray. So maybe what I'll do is I'll do some gray socks. I thought the maid and the butler would empty the trash, but it looks like they're not going to. Could have sworn the ranch hand does that too. Okay, we now have a cream mini sheep. Yes, you can be named Cloud. That's fine. Naming the sheep is important because it allows me to see if I have a new one. How many sheep are we going to have by the time this series is over? Oh, we got beige wool from that. I thought we would get white, but I guess we get beige. Okay, now to sell Groove Wave, and it's only 365 simoleons. 
So multiplying that times 5 is 1825. Okay, let's try knitting something that we can sell. I wonder if we can sell some of these on the selling table. I think we probably can. Hopefully they'll sell for more. I can make this one for nothing. Okay, chestnuts has expired again. Well, this is going to take a while. If my trendy outfits don't sell, I don't know why they're tepid. It shouldn't be tepid. I mean, it's basics, but I don't think basics were trending low. So it has to do with something else. It might be the rarity of the items. I didn't pay attention when I made chestnuts how rare the items were. And I don't think I made any effort to increase the rarity when I made the other ones. But the second one sold. And then for some reason, these are both tepid, even though I put a really big effort into making rocker outfits that had the rarest items. So I don't know. Oh, she's messing with the flies. That might be dangerous. You can potentially die from them, but it's super rare. I've never actually seen it happen. Okay, so she did mess with the flies, but she didn't empty the trash. Oh, she's enraged for some reason. That's not good. She's not going to like my outfit. We'll try to hype it anyway. She's probably going to hate me because she's already losing friendship with me. Well, it didn't seem like that went bad. Did I not do it? I don't think I did it. Oh, Frank's spirit is fading away. No, we can't have that. His ghost has to live in Tiny Town at least. Well... That looked like it went okay. It's still tepid. Okay, well, let's get out of our rocking chair and come strengthen Frank's spirit. Oh, these things don't fit on the table. Come on. No, they do not fit on the table. Great. All right, well, lesson learned. I can't do that. We got to list them on Plopsy. Maybe while I'm doing the selling table, I can try to hype the outfit. I don't know if it will work if people don't like me, though. Michael likes knitted outfits. Well, that's not the same thing, though. It's not actually knitted. Well, maybe he'll like my outfit. I don't know. Can I hype it while I'm on the table? Some of the interactions aren't available on the selling table. Hopefully this one is. Okay, it looks like it is. So, Michael, do you like my outfit? You liked all my knittables. Uh, maybe not. I know Ziggy likes it. It's still tepid. I didn't see it go down, but I didn't see it go up either. Okay, no, he didn't like that one. Oh, I have sold one of the Claire the Bears for 148. Oh, and one sold for 344. Maybe I should just sell the little toys. They're actually pretty expensive. I think maybe with the trendy outfits, what I might have to do is factor in his knitting skill. But I really didn't want to sell it for like thousands and thousands of simoleons. I just wanted it to be a little bit of a boost. Oh, the hype is neutral. I finally got someone to like it, and the hype is now neutral. Okay, I'll take it. I'm not doing anything else. So it doesn't help if you promote the look on Trendy. That just gets you followers. If you actually get a person to like it, then it seems like that works, and even one person liking it will increase the hype one level. I think we're at 400 with this one. Okay, let's see if she likes this one. No, it's still tepid, but I didn't see if I failed the interaction or if I didn't. All right, well, hyping to her is not working. Okay, we'll try 1800 for Cinnamon Sunshine, but the hype is still tepid. Hopefully Chestnuts sells. I have more followers and it's a hype of neutral. Okay, we finally finished our 10 excellent knittables. Now we need to donate five nifted items to charity, complete five legendary knittables, and 
teach another sim to knit. Oh, the maid is taking out the trash. Finally, someone takes out the trash. Uh, the only problem with these sheep is that sometimes they are not in a place where you can shear them. And it's annoying because they like to stand still for a long time. Okay, we have Croquette, the mocha mini sheep, and Poppy, the cream mini sheep. Okay, I think I got them all. That's a lot of sheep. Okay, it's still Rocker and Hipster is low. So I'm not going to make anything more for right now. I'm going to focus on other things. So we have a ton of brown wool. We need to do something with the brown wool. Oh, we can knit rugs. Oh, yellow rug. That would be good in Ziggy's place. Oh, Ziggy can be outgoing. Yeah, he's cheerful and outgoing. Those are the two traits I've added so far for him. Okay, we did get a legendary yellow rug. Hmm. I guess we should keep that one. I'm not going to sell it. Okay, let's see if we can hype this outfit. It's a ridiculous outfit, I know, but the reason why it's ridiculous is because I'm trying to find items that look like they're knitted. So the fashion sense is a little bit off. Sims just doesn't have the right kind of clothing for this. Okay, she's in a happy mood. Maybe she'll like this outfit. Let me compliment her outfit first. That didn't look like a bad interaction. Maybe it was neither bad nor good. Okay, you can hype look to people you're talking to while you're tending the table, but you cannot promote the look on Trendy for some reason. Okay, there's no more things on the table. And chestnuts didn't sell again. Trendy is just so random. It seems like I can never sell anything. I guess maybe his entrepreneurial skill is too low and maybe his charisma has something to do with it. His charisma is level three. Entrepreneurial is level two. So I don't know. I don't know what helps for that to increase and what doesn't. It seems to sell way too slow, though. I might have to increase the amount I'm allowed to sell it for if it's going to take this long to sell anything. I only sold one trendy outfit, and the profit on it wasn't really that great. Well, we got another legendary Claire the Bear. Fire! Oh, it's because of the stupid grill or oven explosions. I'm not going to stop my knitting, and you better not make me, because I don't want to lose my item. Well, all of this is becoming charcoal. Great. I am not replacing all of that. All you have to do is leave the lot, and it will just automatically fix itself anyway. So, yeah, no one's discovered the fire, and no one is concerned. Maybe I should invest in some sprinklers, although, oh yes, it actually should put out the fire because there's technically a roof over this. So if I install sprinklers, then that might help. Oh, Frank discovered the fire. Come on. I guess it's okay as long as no one discovers the fire. But when somebody discovers the fire, I lose my knittable. Ugh, that's so annoying. Put out the fire. Great. Thank you. Oh, 876? No, I don't get that. Okay, I have 1855. I'm going to replace all of this. You know, we still have to teach another sim to knit. What if we were to teach Frank STEM? We kind of repaired our relationship a little bit by apologizing and finding common ground. But, okay, why are you sitting over there? Don't do that. Just teach him how to knit. Why do you have to come all the way over here? Oh, I guess they're going over here to knit. I thought they were going to go inside and use the green couch, but no, let's use the bench outside. 
Now, activities like this where your sim is mentoring another sim or teaching another sim something sometimes gives you positive relationship and it doesn't have a chance to fail. Although this one doesn't seem to be giving me any positive relationship. Okay, no, that did not give us any relationship. Well, um, let's see if he likes my current outfit. I mean, probably not. I would say this is probably not Frank's style. Plus, he doesn't like me very much. Okay, now the preppy trend is high and the rocker trend is low. So we should definitely go to Thrifty and try to make some more outfits. Okay, we'll try selling this one for $16.43. I'm not having any luck hyping these outfits. And even if I manage to hype it, it doesn't seem to do very much. This one is now selling for 300 simoleons. And this one for 1600 I think. All right, let's go get some preppy outfits. Oh, this is considered preppy. All right. Okay, clearly some of these are multiple styles because I've seen this one before in rocker fashion. So I don't want to get that one because it's both rocker and preppy. That should not be the case because preppy is high and rocker is low. I don't get it. How is this considered preppy? I would consider it more rocker than preppy, but sure, whatever. Oh, socks. Oh, they're being used in another outfit. Ugh. No, they're not. I didn't buy any socks from here. Why is that? Oh, well. Okay, this is going to be checkers knit. 450 simoleons so we did get the price up quite a bit and I think we have socks gloves sweater and hat so four items again okay it's neutral and the trend is preppy so if you buy something that has pretty good hype you get neutral and if you buy something that is low hype you get basically tepid and he's still embarrassed so maybe we should go home and knit i'm gonna try hyping the outfit to beatrice i don't know beatrice is a little bit of, of our friend and he is wearing a preppy outfit i don't know she likes preppy clothes doesn't look like it it doesn't give you a, a for sure yes or no and he is just having the worst luck hyping his outfits I don't get it. I guess I just have to wait until he's just much more charismatic and much better entrepreneurial skill. He's just not having any luck whatsoever. Okay, we can sell this one for twenty-two fifty, but I don't think it's gonna sell. It's still tepid. I can't increase the hype at all. I guess I should just work on his charisma and see if that maybe helps. Oh my, all the gnomes from Harvest Fest are here. You guys do not belong here. Okay, let's see if we can do any better. We still have two items that need to sell on Plopsy, and we have four outfits that we have not sold. If we could sell those outfits, then maybe we would have like 10,000 simoleons, but I think Ziggy's house is going to be really cheap. Okay, Opal, where are you? She wants to give me a gift, but I'm kind of busy right now. Where is she at? Oh, she's probably at my house, isn't she? She is. Fine, we'll let you inside. I'm almost to level 5 charisma. She gave me a horse statue. Okay. Not that I needed that. All right, level 5 charisma. Things are still not selling very well on the selling table. Okay, what expired? Okay, Groove Wave. And Chestnut. Well, technically Chestnuts is back to its 200 simoleon price. So, I don't know. 
that seems kind of unfair. I'm going to say that I, I can at least sell it for double. That's going to be my minimum price is double. Let's try hyping it up again. Maybe Opal will be more likely to like it. And I don't know where she went. Okay, well, let's talk to Marissa. Oh, it looks like I sold some of the Plopsy stuff. Okay, now outdoorsy trend is high right now. Man, the trends just keep on rotating. I just don't get it. I mean, yeah, that is how it is in real life, but it's just so funny. I can't get anything to be better than tepid. Everything's tepid. I have 470 followers. I wonder how many it takes to actually start selling things. Okay, I'm going to try and raise his charisma as much as possible because that supposedly helps selling on the selling table and I can sell things on the selling table for a pretty good price. So we might go with that after I get my five nittables donated charity. So basically what I'm doing with that is if I already have them in my wardrobe, I am basically donating them to charity if they're the ones that I have made the knittable items for. So I'm kind of double dipping there, but that's fine. A decent way to raise charisma is to just spam the sales pitch at the selling table because it doesn't seem to get people to buy your items very often, but it does raise your charisma. Okay, level six of the charisma skill. I think one more, and after we sell this one, we'll probably work on some more knittables. Maybe I'll go buy one more outfit. It is Saturday. It's the last day we have for this week. Ziggy is definitely more of a grind. And I think when Deligracy did knitting and cross-stitching that she spent a lot more time doing this because he just honestly takes way too long to make anything. I mean, Beatrice didn't take nearly as long. And it's because he's a perfectionist, I think. Maybe I'll just get rid of that trait after I get my five legendary knittables. I mean, it does help with the aspiration. But to be honest, once I get that done, I don't need it. And I actually don't want it. It doesn't look like anybody's buying this last little grim. I don't know why. Okay, we're going to go with this and we'll call it Outdoor Knitter. And the hype is neutral. All right, whatever. Okay, at least we got 12 followers for promoting that, although it does not improve the hype on the outfit. Do we know any of these people? No, let's just go home. Now, what about the ranch hand? Supposedly they should like outdoorsy outfits, right? Hey, Julia, I have this outdoorsy outfit I'd like you to promote. What do you think? Well, that wasn't a direct no, I don't think. Is there anybody else around? I don't see. Does this person like outdoorsy outfits? I mean, they're an outdoorsy person, I would think. Why does he keep trying to have neighborly chats with everyone? I don't want to have a neighborly chat. I just want to talk about outfits. Okay, no, she didn't like the outfit. Why? All right, what about Michael? Michael is an outdoorsy person, right? A sewage leak. What? Um... So, repair or replace the toilet or flush it out. We're just going to call the property owner. Oh, there she is. We can actually ask her to repair it. Oh, it looks like um, my butler is going to try doing something. He's Okay, he flushed it. That may not be a good idea, though, because... It's probably going to reoccur again. Okay, we have a white mini sheep and another Dalmatian mini sheep. Don't we already have a cloud? Maybe. Okay, no, we have Choco, Cloud, Coffee, Croquette, Poppy, 
Dolly and a, a Dalmatian and a Mocha mini sheep. Um, did we not name that one? Oh, we didn't get that one. Okay. So there, yeah, there's a bunch more sheep. <laughs> I have way too many sheep now. I'll name that one coffee. Okay, that one is going to be cream instead of cloud. And we're going to name this one cow because the Dalmatian mini sheep look like cows. They don't look like Dalmatians. Well, it's a good thing I have a ranch hand because there's no way that I would be able to care for all of these sheep. Okay, that's it. That's all of the legendaries I need. Okay, now I need like a yellow or a beige sweater. I wish you could ask the ranch hand to shear the sheep, but no, you can't do that. Okay, I may regret this, but I'm going to swap out just perfectionist for cringe. Just because I think Ziggy kind of fits that specific trait because he has the most cringiest outfits because I have to find stuff that looks like it's knitted and they're a little cringe. So I'm going to have him be a cat lover, creative, outgoing, cheerful, and cringe. And he just needs one more trait. Maybe animal lover would be a good one. Although I don't think sheep counts for that. I wouldn't want him to be sad because he's not socializing with animal friends. Well, here's to hoping it doesn't take as long to knit things. All right, so we need some pink socks. And what else did I have on here? I think that was it because this one didn't have quite as many. Oh, the gloves, right. Okay, so yes, I do need two socks that are pink. Okay, at 720, how long is it going to take him to knit one item? Oh, that's much better. That is so much better. Um, yeah, I think the best bet is to not have any of these characters be perfectionists because perfectionist, almost all of them were perfectionists and that just drove me nuts because it took forever for them to make anything. The only thing is, why can't I talk to her when I'm knitting? I mean, she can talk to me, but if I try to say something to her, it waits until my knitting is completely done before it does it. Yeah, and then just cancels everything out. All right, well, whatever. And look, she's talking to me. Why can't I say anything back to her? Yeah, it waits until I'm completely done with my item. Fine. Oh, she's flirty for some reason. Oh, did she actually like it? It looked like she liked it. I don't understand why sometimes this doesn't work and sometimes it works. It's still tepid. What is up with that? Oh, she's giving me a Finchwick favor? Oh, I'll take that. Now this started as neutral. And now it's tepid. Ah, this is so annoying. I can't get anything to be other anything other than tepid. I don't know how trendy works. It's not really a thought out method of selling. Okay, so the hype increased and it's still tepid. What about the trends? Is it trending now or not? Okay, outdoorsy is high and rocker is low. So why does my outfit not get hyped very often? Okay, I got it back to neutral. <laughs> We're going to just put it on trendy when it's neutral. Because that's the only way I can get... I can't get it to be anything better than neutral. And neutral is like a best case scenario. All right, we're going to sell this one for 2100 maybe. All right, well, we'll try and promote the other ones, but I don't think they'll be any better. Okay, so which one is low? Rocker is low. So I shouldn't try to hype anything that's rocker. Um, let me go ahead and try to hype the preppy one because... That trend is neither in style or out of style. Okay, I got 34 followers. And it looks like this one increased. It's still tepid, but maybe it has to be hyped twice. No, it decreased. 
<sighs> I don't get it. And it decreased twice, twice in a row. Okay, well, all right. So we're just going to try and sell that one anyway, even though it is probably not going to sell. And this is going to be the end of the week. And I'm just going to put everything back up to full price because this is just ridiculous. I'm not going to be able to sell anything this way. Um, is he wearing that one? Oh, did someone buy that? Someone bought it. It's like he bought it immediately. This is the first time I put that one on sale. Okay, well, sure. We have at least something. Come on, ship to buyer. Oh, I'm going to have to rebuy the mailboxes. All right, well, it's something. Well, I guess that's it. So this is Charity. Thanks for watching. Yeah.